Well, Hellfire has rocked the riff. I'm back with the ladies of uh, Voice of Bass Pro and another Metalhead Envy. And so, I've got the instrumental section. And I'm curious, is there an actual title to this track? Is it a track or is it a jam session? And uh, another thing is, the fact that I play in an instrumental band myself, uh... I might be a little critical of this section. <laughs> but so far, anytime these ladies do original music, really impresses me. I love their original stuff so far. And uh, I guess this is just a speech. And then we have PMS left after this and What the Holy Noble today. But for this episode, we're just going over the instrumental section. Let's I like how groovy that was opening and then uh i had a thought cross my head y'all said that oh shit i didn't mean to go that far back somebody left a comment saying that that sg isn't hers and somebody let her borrow it couldn't remember exactly what was being said I mean, I do have to admit, the bass player of this band is probably my favorite element. I'm ready to see her shine. And once again, I do like the tone they've got going on. Uh, I mean, I hope the instrumental gets a little crazier. To me right now, it, it's not as... Uh, it's not as intricate as I was hoping, but there and again... I've still got plenty of time to go, or plenty more time to see what's coming up. Plus the finger picking, I'm jealous of that. I wish I could finger pick. There we go. Ran it up. Yeah, hey, get your little tap on. Okay. I just had another thought cross my head. Being a three piece, maybe does that hold back on being more complicated in your instrumentals? I mean, my band, we were a four piece. We had two guitars, a bass, and a drummer. Uh, our bass player, unfortunately, uh, didn't have the time to invest in the band as much anymore. And so he backed out and, uh, We've went down to a three-piece ourselves now, two guitarists and a drummer. But I guess where our focus is being an instrumental band at the moment, being a progressive instrumental band, we do tend to, like, complicate the fuck out of some of the stuff we write. Like, not the, not saying we're uh, 
the craziest guitarist in the world, but at the same time, like I guess picture in a practice set and one of us doing the more chord repeats that wouldn't really fly in my project and everything in my band. But uh knowing the ladies a little bit of the ladies' backstory and knowing that it's been a hard road for them to actually get to where they're at and kudos to what they've achieved because they're playing at a festival with a lot more people than my band is and so they know what they're doing it, it really is coming down to just personal preference but this solo section i like it i think i like when a three-piece act uh the drummer and the bass are the like the main vein part of it and the guitarist gets to do little flares here and there but it, I think I have a love for these ladies that it just reminds me so much of when I first started a band and when I first played in a band back in my teen teen years and I get that same vibe from these uh, these ladies. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I want to have fun. I want to have fun again when I play with a bunch of people and all that. Hell yeah, here we go. That's a tap right there, girl. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That is so cool. Here I was being like, ah, oh, got to get away from the three chord structure. And what's, what do they do? <laughs> that goes to show you that I am a dumbass. <laughs> but that's more like, that's more of what, just from my personal experience, being in an instrumental band is like. It's like the whole three chord thing just doesn't get, I mean, it gets used, but you also have to add these flares and these little tricks here and there just to spice it up, especially when you don't have vocals to carry certain melody lines and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to back that up because that is definitely my favorite part of this so far. The <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah and i can't explain the feeling i get when especially when it was uh three string sections in my own band 
when all of us were on time and lining up doing the da 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 I mean, it is so fucking cool. It's so fun, especially when you're playing live and you like, you look up and some, like people, some people are impressed, some people ain't, but it's just, as a guitarist, it's fun as hell, especially, I don't know, how do I even word it? It's like playing a more intricate riff and then having somebody besides you playing that same intricate riff. And I mean, y'all are just in sync like a clock and note for note, you're, you're matching each other. It's so much fucking fun, but I am digging this instrumental way more now that this section is in it. And then we groove it out. Might be a promise. So cool. Hell Take yeah. It. Thank you, uh, VOB, Voice of Bass Pro. That four horns all the way with another set. That's an eight horn track. I like that. That is my favorite VOB song. Um, I'm curious if it actually has a title or do they call it instrumental? Uh, I'm a bit biased. Like I've already plugged myself enough. I, I play in a progressive metal band and or progressive instrumental metal band. So I'm biased. I'm going to prefer instrumentals most of the time. The ladies in this at first I was kind of doubting, but it reminded me so much. Yeah, there we go. I want to see all three of them. It reminded me so much of my early days of playing guitar. And like I have a, it just, it invokes nostalgia. I think that's the right way to say that maybe. <laughs> and so I'm already like in a happy place. And then halfway through this instrumental, when they start doing the more intricate, complicated stuff, I'm like, oh, God, yes. Like, uh, cool deal. <laughs> cool deal. I'm so glad these ladies are making it and living the dream that they want to be in rock stars. I hope one day I'm blessed enough to put out some music that can help me get to that goal, too. And, uh, I mean, I'm blessed now where I'm at. I'm in my own studio. I'm getting to check out stuff here on YouTube and I'm getting ready. I'm getting to make videos and post. So I am blessed. And I can't really, uh, think of much else to say. VOB, that was fantastic. I like that. But my next one will be, is PMS a song? I guess PMS will be my next one, and then I'll have What's the Holy Noble today. But I think I have ran my mouth enough. And so, if this is your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know some stuff to check out. Let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong here on the channel, and uh, or pros and cons. I mean, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do me here on the channel. But if there is some shitty audio or shitty video or this that let me know about stuff like that and uh yeah so with that being said stay positive stay rocking i'll catch y'all in the next one